Hi, this is Ian Zepp with M43. Um, this is going to be a quick video demo, uh, the very first one actually for this project. Um, <coughs> in a nutshell, this is a project that is focused on taking uh, the very useful but simple uh, Basecamp user interface, as well as a lot of the modeling, you know, the messaging, the to-dos, to-do comment system, uh, milestones, time tracking files, so all the stuff that Basecamp is known for uh, and does very well and very simply, taking that kind of UI and interface and putting it into a, uh, a custom package, custom application for Salesforce. Um, and so because I, I specifically want to target this application towards uh, towards something that doesn't that, that can be integrated with an existing organization I am not going to try and and reuse a lot of the standard objects so we could you know we could use opportunities as you know projects or as milestones or something um, I'm actually going to avoid that so uh, one of the other things that I'm going to do during the course of this application development process is uh, kind of periodically snapshot things as we're changing them um, and then take feedback from the community. I'd like this to very much be one of those, you know, we know what Basecamp does, but we think we want these extra features added in. I um, think that could be very useful. So let me just start walking through with what we have. Uh, I have already laid out all of the basic objects here that Basecamp uses. We have our message and message comment, which corresponds to the messages tab here. Uh, here's a sample message in a working Basecamp project. Um, as a side note, I don't yet have a name for this. Obviously, it can't be Basecamp because that's a uh, it's another company. But um, you know, I'll come up with some name later. It's not really important right now. So I have a message. Uh, we can look at the message. This is again in Basecamp, um, and you can leave a comment on the message. If you've never seen Basecamp before. It's really, really easy to use. That's one of the best things about it, is it makes it uh, nearly brain dead simple to do stuff. Um, so here's our message object and then our child message comment. Uh, we could potentially use Chatter for that. I don't know if we necessarily want to. One of the downsides with using Chatter for something like that is we can't really extend the, uh, the Chatter objects inside. So instead, I've created a message object which has uh, the description whether it's private or not. Um, so you may not be able to do that on a message, but certainly on a to-do comment. Uh, oh wait, I'm sorry, yes. The message itself can be marked as private. So when you're creating a message in Basecamp, uh, you give it a title, you can choose a category, those categories can be changed by the admin, and then you add a description, which is formatable, as well as you can specify that uh, the message is only visible to your company or not. I'll get into uh, people and permissions and company setup a little bit later. Um, you can relate messages to milestones. The nice thing about doing that is that when I if you have a milestone and it moves from one project to another project, uh, all of the related messages and tasks go along with it. So, so this is Basecamp again. In Salesforce, we've got our description. We've got uh, is it private as a checkbox. We've got a relationship to our milestone custom object, which I'll cover a little bit later, and also a relationship to our project. And then the project member uh, is essentially the person who submitted uh, the message to begin with. Or perhaps for to do, there, there's a similar structure for to do. It's the person that it was assigned to. Um, so that's a quick overview of our message object. Our message comment object is very similar. It really just contains the text of the comment itself and then the message that it's associated with. And then as you also saw, we can set categories. Um, those categories are actually defined uh, at the account level. Uh, I haven't yet made a determination as to whether we want to be able to specify categories per project or whether it's really just a global thing. Um, so our category object is pretty simple just has essentially a category name and uh, you know then what it's related to is a basic pick list and in this case it's either messages or files. I'm going to stop there, do a second video shortly.